Let's hop back into our training page and check out the page. If we click into the editor, you'll see a toolbar that pops up with options on what we can create inside the web page. Uh, if you're familiar with word processing software like Microsoft Word or Google Docs, this should feel familiar. So we have cut, copy, three options for paste, which the middle one will work best. Uh, undo, redo, find, and then replace. We have a few items that should be used sparingly, like bold, italics, underline, and these two numbered and bulleted lists. Let's play with these. So if we type out a few items for a list, and highlight the entire list, we can click either numbered or bulleted lists to kind of create which one we want. We'll click it again and it'll undo. And this will kind of be how most of it works. If we highlight mouse and hit bold, it'll bold it, keyboard for italics, monitor for underline, uh, and so forth. And this will be the same process that we use when we create headers. Um, so if we say, computer items and we highlight the text that we want to be a header and select this style drop down we can select the size I think a header 4 might be appropriate here we want the headers to have a natural hierarchy to them so the re to the reader it's obvious which items are grouped together if we take a quick tour to the web style guide, I'll be able to demonstrate a little bit better. So you can see here that the H1 is the largest item, the division of the information technology, and then the web style guide belongs to the information technology page, so it's second largest. Web templates belong inside the web style guide, so it's third largest. Uh, typography is the, the same size because it's of equal importance to web templates but still belongs to the web style guide which belongs to the information technology. Uh, so you can kind of see this kind of hierarchy and it becomes really apparent when you look at these body text or heading sizes and they're smaller than typography and it looks like it groups together. Uh, we kind of scroll down here to the web writing style guide and it looks like these items belong under this category. We'll want to kind of keep that, we'll want to emulate that for our own documents. So if we swap back to what we have here and add our own larger header, paint space here, you can see the H4 and H4, it's confusing Right? We would anticipate another list here, but if we go ahead and change this to an H3, it looks like the computer items are underneath items available. Headers can denote importance and grouping. So if we make a second list with a smaller H5, uh, you'll be able to see how that looks. We take this, make this an H5, make this another list, we start to get a pretty good looking document. Uh, and if we select the text and go to the styles drop down up here and select paragraph style, it'll give us a little bit more padding and a little bit more space so everything kind of can breathe a little bit better. Uh, so let's hit save and go to preview mode to see our work. Hey, not too bad. Uh, let's add a few more elements and go back to edit mode. If we want a hyperlink, uh, we'll do kind of the same process. So highlight the text, the text of desks, and 
and hit this insert or edit link. A new tab will open and it's going to ask us what we want to link to. If we go to the content tab, it will let us link to any web page that's already available within the Keneco CMS. And all we need to do is select the link and hit save and close. Our highlighted text is now green, showing us that it's a link. If we wanted to delete the link, we would highlight it and hit the unlink tab button here. Let's select the text and explore other options. The other tabs down here are media libraries, which we'll cover in a bit, but this area is if we wanted to link to a Word document or PDF document. Uh, you can see that the admissions library is where all the documents available to us. Here's the images and here's the files for admit letters. So if we wanted to link to this PDF, we would just select it and hit save and close. And now it's linked to our, our PDF area. The next tab is the web tab. And this will be the location if you ever want to link to anything external. So any hyperlink, well even UWG links, will work here. So if we type out google.com, and if we change this to new window or target blank, then when we click on the hyperlink, it will open Google in a new tab. We'll skip these last two tabs as they're kind of advanced features, but you're welcome to play. So let's test out our links. If we hit save and go to preview mode, hey, look at that. It opened google.com and the new link. We'll also want to be sure that we only link to credible, honest websites. Uh, this page seems a little bit bland, so let's add an image or two back in edit mode. If we place a mouse cursor where we want to see the image and select this film strip icon, it will open the media library for us. We kind of touched on it, but this is just like how it is every website for every department, there's a media library. So if we click this drop down, you'll see that it has all the media libraries available to us, especially if we click this more libraries tab. You can see that there's 34 pages, but for now, let's just select the admissions. And in here, we're gonna look for the master gallery. If we hit this small gray little box over here, we'll be able to see a little bit more information. And if your view is on list view, if you click this little picture, it'll swap to thumbnail view and we can kind of get a glimpse of what we're doing. I think this image of Canvas would be nice on the page. So let's select it and hit save and close. Now we can see we have the image in the website. I think it really came together. Let's dive into some advanced options on the images while I have you here. If we double click it, we have another tab panel down here with the options that are available. So we can see this is where the URL lives. And we wanna make sure that we always enter some alternative text or screen readers and accessibility. Just a real brief description in case any people can't see the image, uh, what we were supposed to see. So UWG, courtyard with flowers and coffee library. Uh, here if we wanted to give it a border, change the height ratio or size of it, give it some space around it. Uh, if it was a smaller image we could have it left aligned so text would wrap. Um, because it's full width we won't be able to do that. Uh, there's this link tab up here. So if we wanted to be able to click the image and say, open Google in a new window, it would be able to do that. So if we take a look, uh, we kind of covered all the basics of pages. Oop, it said save and then preview. We have our images, headers, how to hyperlink, and style. On the next time, we'll cover advanced features like widgets and embeds and go from there.